Kirby Axman with the Cameron Knights joining us here after a one to nothing victory over Creston as they uh, moved to nine and one on the season. Kirby, congratulations! Big win, kind of a bounce back win after last night's loss, uh, first loss of the season. What were you guys' thought process and, and mental uh, thoughts when you were coming into tonight? Um, we knew they were a good team. We knew we had to play aggressive and just play together as a team and make good things happen out of that. Talk about the offensive end tonight. Uh, how did you feel like you guys were able to move the ball? Did you get the kind of looks you were hoping to here tonight? Yeah, we got quite a few shots on goal. I think we moved together as a unit, and that starts from our defense transitioning up. Had some good through balls and ultimately got some good shots on goal. Take us through that goal. You scored uh, just over six minutes remaining there in the uh, uh, first half. Uh, what did you see there? Uh, and it looked like an awfully uh, good shot. Uh, yeah, they. our midfielder, Josh Chigas, I think, played a good ball down at the corner, and it was just a perfect cross in, and I was able to capitalize on the opportunity. What, As far as the pass coming to, what were you guys, how do you guys communicate uh, and stuff as far as where you want the ball when you're, when you're you know, trying to get those shots? Um, he read that uh, Fitzsimmons, I think, on the outside had the open lane for the through ball, and then he had a good cross in. He found the window perfectly there. We're just able to capitalize through that. Kirby, uh, let's talk in the second half here. As you said, you guys got some opportunities. What were the opportunities you felt you kind of left out on the field tonight and maybe should have taken advantage of? Um, I think we could do a little better in our set pieces, like our corner kicks, free kicks, things like that. Just crashing the goal, I think. Overall, though, I thought we did a pretty good job. What was the strength, did you think, of their goalie tonight, and how were you looking to attack him? Oh, yeah, he came off the line hard. He was a big goalie. He was quick, so we knew we had to keep our shots low and keep him to the post. Defensively, you mentioned that your defense is doing a good job tonight and getting the ball ahead. What has been the strength of the defense this year, uh, you know, as you're kind of waiting and, and stuff for that ball to come down to you? Yeah, we got four veteran players back there. They communicate well, and they're able to clear the ball up right away and get us some open looks on goal. That really helps with the transition game coming oh, yeah. through. Is that your favorite part of the game, the transition game? You seem to like it when they kick it out in front of you and you got to kind of run it down and get yourself maybe a one-on-one -on -one or a one-on-two. Absolutely. Just playing together as a team, too. What is it about that, though? What is it about the fast break that's so exciting for you? Um, just running it down to the corner, just beating the guy one-on-one. -on -one. And you always know you got help on the backside if you do manage to beat them that they can put it away and get a, or get a good shot on goal. What did you think was the difference tonight for you guys to pick up the win? I think just playing aggressive. The 50-50 balls we talked about before the game, just stepping to and making sure we won those balls, just being the more aggressive team, I think. Well, Kirby, appreciate you joining us here. Congratulations on the victory again tonight. Thank you.